Got hired to be a second shooter at a wedding with my buddy S. When I do weddings, I really do prefer to be second shooter. I like to not have to worry about schedule that much, talking with the client, figuring all that stuff out, dealing with the audio. I like to just show up, throw my camera on a gimbal and shoot. But the main thing here is that I really don't enjoy weddings at all anymore. I used to do weddings all the time. That used to be what paid my bills. I used to love the creativity behind a wedding. I used to love editing weddings, but that has changed quite a bit. And I kind of took this job uh, because I wanted to challenge myself again to kind of go to a place where I did enjoy it because I knew that I was gonna have a tough time getting creative if I'm just not passionate about it. I knew that this was gonna be important for me to kind of make myself, you know, go back to the drawing board with this stuff. And I kind of wanted to challenge myself to see how I thought with wedding filmmaking now, as opposed to years ago when I was doing this stuff. So here I'm just getting uh, the gimbal balance, which actually I did this all wrong. S had showed me, it's been so long since I've really used a gimbal to be honest. And I was balancing this completely incorrectly. The motor kept giving out. I couldn't figure it out why. And S showed me that I completely had the thing way off but it's okay, we learned something. So showing up to this shoot, if anything, I learned how to balance my gimbal properly. So the first thing I was tasked with shooting was the venue, the detail shots, all the B-roll, stuff like that, which I think if you're an up and coming filmmaker or learning filmmaking, you really should go through doing some filmmaking in the wedding industry because you're gonna learn a lot about storytelling you're gonna learn a lot about reactionary uh, filmmaking, having to be at the right place at the right time. There's no uh, second chances on the first kiss and stuff like that. And then you're also gonna learn a lot about doing B-roll. Uh, a lot of filmmaking in weddings is B-roll. And I mean, a lot of filmmaking in general is just B-roll. And so this is such a great way to learn how to do all that. And I think that sometimes weddings and the venues that you shoot in provide some of the most fun and like unique visuals that you can get when it comes to doing B-roll stuff. So S is miking up the groom now. They're fixed to do their first look. He's putting on the tentacle sync. What's cool is that he can use the app on his phone to monitor the audio. So it's it's really kind of a nice little system. And then it also has time code in there. Again, gathering more B-roll. S is kind of getting everybody ready. And then I'm just gonna be shooting around them and the photographer. And during walk downs, I was told to basically just grab a shot of everybody walking down. And then once the bride came out, I needed to wrap around. Once she hit a certain point, I was to get behind her, get a wide shot of kind of everybody looking at her. And then she starts to walk down. And when she hits her second mark, I'm to get out of the way for the photographer and for us to grab that coming down the aisle shot. So that's me running to get to position there. Uh, once the ceremony started, I just had to place the camera on the gimbal on that tripod, um, which is also S's. Just let it roll, that's it. Didn't have to cut or nothing, uh, somewhat easy. So he's got a really nice audio kit set up. This is the Zoom F6 and it's a six uh, channels of audio that he can input in there. It's got 32 bit flow. And again, he basically is just going in there, plugging it in to get the speeches and the music. And then he has his Aperture LS60Xs, I believe, spotlighting and lighting up this event, which was really nice for us, as you can see right here. It just provides light. Um, when they were, they were doing the first dances and stuff, that footage looked really clean and nice. And the last thing I had to do was just hand back the SD card that S gave me at the beginning of the shoot. And that was it. So I can't really complain too much. I don't really like doing weddings, but at the end of the day, I got paid for just about four hours of work. I don't have to edit. I don't have to upload. I don't have to do anything. So once I hand the SD card off, it's completely out of my control what happens from there. So yeah, all in all, it was a pretty easy shoot. Um, I don't, I still don't enjoy weddings. Uh, I'll take them if the money's right. Not too bad. And once again, this Nanit case is really proving its worth.